Halley's Comet is arguably one of the most famous comets, being a periodic space rock that graces the Earth with its presence every 76 years. This means that it's possible for a person to see the comet once or, if they're lucky, twice in their lifetime. The last time Halley was seen was in 1986, meaning it is projected to return in 2061. Since its discovery, a lot has been learned about the mysterious comet, including some superstitions people had about it the first time they saw ominous streaks soaring across the sky. Needless to say, Halley's Comet has an interesting history tied to it. Halley is named after an English astronomer. Halley's Comet is named after English astronomer Edmund Halley, a man who is responsible for recording some of the first transits of Mercury across the Sun. He then went on to realize that the transit of Venus could be used to determine the size of the solar system. In 1704, Halley was appointed civilian professor of geometry at Oxford University. It was there that Halley reviewed reports of comets approaching Earth in 1531, 1607, and 1682. He eventually concluded that the comets were actually the same one returning over and over again, due to similar characteristics. Unfortunately, he did not live to see the return of Halley's Comet. The first known observation took place in 239 BC. According to the European Space Agency, the first known observation of Halley's Comet dates back to 239 BC and was by Chinese astronomers. They recorded the comet's passage around Earth in the Shiqi and Wenchen Thung Kao Chronicles. The comet returned in 164 BC and 87 BC, which makes historians believe that Halley is also mentioned in the Babylonian clay tablet records now housed at the British Museum in London. A Nature Research paper noted, these texts have, an, important bearing on the orbital motion of the comet in the ancient past. Halley is darker than coal. It's quite amazing that we have been able to record sightings of Halley's comet throughout history. All we see when it passes if a bright streak of light in the sky, after all. How did we even come to the conclusion that was light from a comet? Funnily enough, the comet itself is darker than coal, reflecting only 4% of the sunlight it receives. The brightness that we see with the human eye and through telescopes is just the sunlight reflected off of the dust and vapors in the tail of the comet. The comet's tail is super long. It's no surprise to hear that Halley's Comet is quite the large space rock. The comet is 15 kilometers long and 8 kilometers wide. The coma of Halley, or the envelope that circles around the comet, can stretch upwards to 100,000 kilometers when close to the Sun. This coma expands a great deal when it comes in close contact with the Sun's radiation. As the comet warms, parts of it go from a solid to a gas state, giving the comet a fuzzy appearance when seen through a telescope. The solar wind blowing the coma backward creates the long tail. It was first captured on camera in 1910. Before 1910, there were only written records of Halley's Comet. It wasn't until that year when the comet flew by about 13.9 million miles from Earth, that it was captured on camera. The comet's picture was taken with a wide-angle camera at Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. The photo shows a streak across the comet near the coma, of which is actually a meteor tail and not a scratch on the negative. Streaks on the top right are lights coming from the town of Flagstaff and the bright dot is the planet, Venus. A 1910 photograph sure did grab a lot of detail. 1910, the year of doom. Aside from the photograph, the year 1910 was the year a lot of people thought the world was going to end. In a time when telescopes couldn't track the comet around its 76-year orbit, the search for its inevitable return that year was wildly reported in newspapers. Everyone was excited until astronomers realized that Earth was going to pass through the comet's 25 million kilometer long tail. It got worse when the Yerkes Observatory announced the discovery of cyanogen, a deadly poison, in the comet's tail. The good news is that the world did not end on May 19, 1910, and the news quickly forgot about the comet. Halley's Comet is a good lesson in prophecy. Edmund Halley astonished the 18th century world by predicting the return of the comet's appearance every 76 years. He did so by using Isaac Newton's law of gravity to learn about the characteristics of the comet in order to make the scientific prediction. In doing so, he proved that science could do what astrologers and prophets have been claiming to be able to do for years. Only they all failed. The ability to predict future events is a scientific property called classical physics. It relies on measurements in the clockwork of certain physical laws, such as gravity.